Greetings and salutations, everybody. It is the third. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't funny. It, I, don't, I don't know why it was funny. Um, but it was to me, apparently, as well. So, uh, yeah, this is the third uh, episode of Ashes of Oblivion. Um, we got Cody, Josh, and Jacob again with us. Hello. And, uh, they've gotten themselves into quite a predicament. That's right. Greetings and salutations. We are, apparently, is how our intro goes. And we're Apocrypha World now and also before. Of course we are. Uh, and, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to just, woo, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Let's let's turn the main down. No, let's. I don't want to. You can't <laughs> stop me. I'm going for gold here. Uh, Reddit gold. God. That's Man, right. Somebody clip this shit. Don't clip uh. this shit. That would hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh. So yeah. Uh. So uh. As as the, the uh, group attempted their their voyage east to Morwen, uh, they were uh, accosted by uh, uh, a large zombified whale. And after uh, after a bit of a struggle, <laughs> is it safe to call it that struggle? I mean, I shot it a bunch, but they didn't go my way. Uh, it was, it, uh, yeah. I guess a struggle would be the best the best way to say it. Uh, it was a valiant struggle, but a struggle nonetheless. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, so as as we left off, uh, uh, Zerath was was peering through one of the, uh, the the openings for the oars, the porthole. Yeah. That's that's it. That's the word. Thank you. Uh, and, and saw a, a, a large ship approaching from the east, uh, which happened to be sli- uh, flying the slowed flag. Uh, and now all the things about zombies and slowed just kind of come together or starting to make sense. So that's uh, that's where we left off. It's time to eat some S cargo, baby. Let's go. Is uh is the whale still? I assume attached to the ship. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, to, just to kind of set, to reset the setting, uh, the whale's jaws grip harder into the vessel as the slowed ship approaches from the east. The boat still rocks back and forth as the flesh astronauts fight against the huge force underneath the ship. Uh, if anybody wants to give me a uh, pretty quick little perception check. That is a six going to give me anything? A, a six. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I uh, got a seventeen. I got a an eighteen. Uh, all right. So, uh, where uh, you were looking through the the, the portholes here? Uh, what were uh, Lajaro and uh, Raelius doing? I think we were we were still trying to get the teeth off the hull. So I believe we were still still but, there. But at this point, I believe it's futile. Yeah, Raelius is still shooting the teeth out. Yeah, so that's that's why you, Raelius doesn't notice. Um, but Lajaro and, and Zerath both notice um, that as as the ship is is getting closer uh, to to your your ship, uh, you you begin to see that this is no ordinary cargo vessel. Uh, of course, why why would it be? <laughs> we got big slug people uh, on it, uh, and and you see these uh, these these kind of overarching uh, crossed beams. They're not they're not connected, uh, but they they stretch across the the top deck of the ship, and they're kind of alternating one going one way, one going the next. Um, and uh, you two, uh, yeah, actually no, yeah, you didn't see anything shit. Uh, yeah. You you also can make out that at the at the end of of these arms are uh, a basket of of sorts, uh, and, and in in these baskets uh, you can see what what appears to be uh, ma- mounds of of flesh and arms uh, that that look uh, you know an awful lot like the flesh atronachs that are are powering the boat right now. Uh, and and these these flesh and extronauts, they're just kind of a mound with with some arms uh, and appendages, uh, but these are also uh, uh, chained up nice and tight, and that chain leads down to a spool at the end of these arms. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and, and if you you can 
make an intelligence check if you haven't figured out what those are. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> Zareth, what are you seeing over there? I got a 15. 19. They're catapults. They're catapults with flesh astronauts <laughs> that are, oh, that are chained to, to the ship for it's some like reason. Some Mad Max at the sea. Precisely. <laughs> um, Raelius, uh, these are flesh catapults. Much like the Atronachs that are helping steer and row the ship, they are in these catapults. Raelius is going to stop shooting the teeth and go look through the <laughs> hole to see, the, to see a flesh <laughs> catapult. Raelius, <coughs> we have slow. Familiar with them? Yeah, not my day either. I don't know. They taste That's pretty good. That's not. Di You've eaten those goddamn things. You've eaten a slow. Yeah, they're pretty good. What the fuck? All right, everyone. Let's try to. Have you eaten other... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Have you eaten other sentient life forms? There are more pressing matters. We need to deal with these things coming at us. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll explain later. So I would like to I would like to go talk to Scarf, because if memory serves, we are missing a flesh, a flesh Atronox. Yeah, Orlando is in its place right now. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Lajara wants to go up to Scarf real quick. Scarf. Right. <laughs> Where's the other flesh? Flesh Atronox. Well, it went bye bye. At, like, did it get off the ship? Out through the hole, yeah. Is it from the from the well? Yeah, right out there. <sighs> and you said none of the cheese is is what we need. No like, good rows up there, boss. No. I would like to just go back to shooting the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's uh, that's like a t fucking uh, d seventeen plus nine. That's a twenty-six. Uh, I mean, yeah, you you shoot some more teeth. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like our options. We don't have many. Well, I'm trying to keep up pace here, but you all need to think of something fast. Raelius, how are we looking on the teeth? Uh, 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 DM, how are we looking on the teeth? They're still there. How many? Uh, there are uh, four smaller ones and one large one that you can see. The one large one is at the, at the front. Okay, so well, I can shoot with their, two things. They're orcish wells. The orcish wells, yes, you're welcome. Now, I can shoot with two things. Can I shoot the big tooth? Wait, is this still frozen into us with ice? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What, what the fuck do I do about that? That, uh, was, my, that was my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, I, uh, do, you, do you need an intelligence check on uh, how to melt ice? Well, no, I, I don't have fire. Oh, I do. I have firebolt. Okay. I'm going to use... Uh, uh, yeah, okay, hold on. It's just <laughs> well, this is a wooden ship. <laughs> God damn it! Um, would this would the firebolt like aim directly at the ice? Would that affect the ship? Wait, I guess that? you'd have to find out. Like a mm. firebolt directly where the ice is to melt it, would that cause the ship to start going on fire? You would have to roll for that. Okay, I'm going to. I'm gonna firebolt the ice. Also, can I also shoot with my uh, with with scraps, electric cannon? Sure. At the big tooth. Yeah. That is a nineteen. Uh, my mine is a twenty-seven. <laughs> Fine. We're sinking everybody. Look, the only thing. Yeah. So I'd I'd like to remind you all that there are things in this game that uh, I have I have based on Disco Elysium, um, and in that you can do too well. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Listen, okay, you can't put that against me. I have a plus nine to hit on no, no, on no, my no, no. spellcasting. It's, it's fair. It's fair. Okay, I just 
Uh, I can't. I basically can't. <laughs> Wait, fuck did you this did you up. shoot it or use your your cannon? I used my cannon's electrical like <sighs> bolt okay. at the big tooth. Uh. Oh, at the big at the big the tooth. big tooth. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to shoot the big thing with the big shot. You know. <laughs> big thing, big shot, big number. Yeah, that's right. Big number, <laughs> number go brr. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta look something up real quick. I wasn't prepared for this. This is a very ADHD episode. Yeah. Lojaro's very upset right now, just to let everybody know. His ears are, are back, and his tail is very much flickering around. Violently. Lojaro can get over it. No, Lojaro is not going to get over this. Okay, if it wasn't for Shio Gorath in the first place, I wouldn't be here. I will give you a kiss afterwards. No, please that don't. Would, that would be 15 damage off of my cannon. So you got 15 off of that. And yeah, uh, you want to roll for damage? Oh uh, hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, of, of course you both hit. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I want to roll for damage. What are you crazy? Uh, that is that is nine for damage. Okay. But does damage affect the ice? Uh. Uh yes, yes okay. it does. Yeah, what's that uh, ice's hit points? So. <clears throat> Um, it's funny you ask. Uh, 13. <laughs> well, you fucked that's, it that's up. That's what this says. Because uh, I didn't know I didn't know the strength of ice. I don't have that uh, right in front of me. I believe, uh, I just believed you. Yeah. I wasn't questioning what you <laughs> said to me. Uh, uh, yeah, so, and then you did uh, how much? In 15. <laughs> big tooth need big number. Um... Okay. Well, <laughs> so uh, if you if you recall last session, um, there was there was some hesitation that was, uh, was that preceded using uh, your your artillery cannon inside of the ship to shoot the ice and make it explode. R- right, but do you recall what it did to the first whale you shot with it? I mean, it it pushed it. Is that what we're? Doing? It, it we did, but it. it went through it. Yes, this yeah, it went is, through the tooth. It's it's a very powerful artifact. Yeah. Um. So yes, it does. Go, it does in That's fact. That's right. I built it myself. Through, it does in fact go through uh, the the tooth here, uh, and it it hits the the wall behind it. Wait, okay, hold on. <laughs> yes. The wall behind the, the tooth? The wall of the ship, yeah. Isn't there, like, a mouth in there somewhere? Well, yeah, it's it's right outside the wall. The hull of the ship. Yeah, this this whale is on its side, and its jaws are cra- clasped eh, around. Yeah, fuck it, whatever, yeah, let's opposite. do this. Yeah. What did um, I do wrong? So, Tell so me. the hull is not... Gone, but it is it is damaged. Uh, there is water coming in now. Okay, look, the hole was already damaged. A gigantic bunch of teeth have pierced it. Water was going to be coming in anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was coming in a little bit, if but it wasn't. Means- it wasn't at an alarming rate. This is this is what I would consider uh, at least mildly alarming. Don't look at me like that, Lojaro. Listen, <laughs> the water is going to come in alarmingly regardless. At this point, I just want to let the slow take me, and we'll just get this over with. Does this have anything to do with the cheese? It has everything to do with the cheese. What there are... cheese? I showed you all the cheese room when we got on board. You didn't but explain why? what it was. Why is the cheese important? They're these things. Flesh hatred oxes. No, they're cheese. No, they are disguised as cheese, thanks to Shiogora. Their what? bodies, it's right. <laughs> Scarf just coming in to clarify things there. I took possession of this vessel on a contract with Shiogorath to deliver bodies to the Slowed. And now they're coming to collect. Then why would they attack us? Well, we kind of attacked first. Never Wait, mind. why didn't you tell us about this? We haven't had much time. <coughs> we had like an entire day. I had to get to know you all first. Uh, do you want, do you want I feel like this is pertinent information. Y'all give me an insight check. Oh 
That's a nat one. Fuck me. Whatever. Yeah, I'm panicking. No. Really, this is not having a good time. Dude, my insight's <laughs> dog shit anyway. It doesn't matter. If you want any wisdom from me, you're not going to get it. 19 on insight. That's an 18 on mine. Uh, the, uh, the ship is no longer following the, the course of the, the whale. The whale has, has stopped pushing the, uh, the boat. How, how close is the ship? Can I see it from the porthole? Yeah, you can, you can look out. How close? Are we there? Uh, they're, they're pretty close. Yeah. They're there. Yeah. <laughs> What's right. going on? All right. I don't Orlando? <laughs> I've just been told to row the goddamn boat, and that's what I'm doing. We're trying to get away. I don't know what else to do. Orlando, listen. Can I request that you help me kill them if we have to? Uh, I mean, I would love to mask or something, but I thought we were trying to get away from these things. We can take their Based boat. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. We can take their boat. If they threaten us, we kill them. And take their boat. I'm at that point. I do not who, who want are, to be a slave to the slow. Are, are you speaking to Orlando? I'm speaking to everybody. Oh. Just throwing that out to the group. Yeah, I'm just throwing it out to the room. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I uh, I don't feel like being a slave to a bunch of slug fucks. So. All right. Cheese it is then. We will try to talk this out, see if I can persuade them with the cheese that we have. But if all else fails, we might have to pirate this a little bit. How, if they let us go, how the hell are we gonna get out of here? Our boat, your boat is demolished. We can find things on the boat to repair it with, at least patch it until we get to Morrowind. They have a boat. I know, I'm agreeing with you. Like I said, let's see if we can get away with the cheese, and we need someone down here trying to patch the boat up. So you want me to stop rowing so you can go up there and talk to the sons of bitches? What else, what else do we have, Orlando? Orlando, I would prefer if you stopped rowing and helped me massacre them if we have to. I've... Please. I'm not telling you what to do. All Lush, right, I'm just Lajaro, asking. I will, I will stay under and patch the boat with my ice touch. Okay. I won't shoot it this time. Raelius, do you want to come with me or Orlando? I mean, are you okay down here by yourself Listen. with the these yeah, delightful like, creatures? I like talking to them. <laughs> I'm sure Scoff enjoys the company. <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> I will go try to talk to them. No one make any sudden moves. Let's all play this cool. Alright. But if it goes sideways, get ready for some shit. We should probably keep your uh, your cook down here so he doesn't admit to anything being thrown off the boat. Yeah, where is he anyway? <laughs> I'll go look for oh, Alaric. no. Yeah, you guys haven't thought about Alaric in a minute, have you? I admit I thought about him, but I figured he was just cooking balls or something. Alright, I, I searched the ship for Alaric. Uh, so, okay, so yeah, if you're, if, you're, if you're coming up the stairs. Oh my god. Alaric! <laughs> <laughs> Alaric, here, Alaric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's now your pet. With pets. Uh, <laughs> so as as, as you're, you're calling out, um, you, you hear, hear some, some muffled kind of screams. Not screams, but yelling, like... Mm. Can I discern, like, in the direction it's coming from? Uh, yeah, investigation, I guess. Okay. Uh, that's a ten. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. He's in the cheese room. Uh, you, you know this ship pretty well. <laughs> 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 Second time now. All right, I bust into the cheese room. Lojaro is upset. He has a very upset look on his face on whatever he sees through that door. 
Well, uh, through all the commotion, the neat, the relatively neatly stacked cheese has just been jumbled all over the place, uh, and and uh, quite a bit of it is on top of Allard uh, with his luck. Okay, so in 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 a hurry, I will like jump onto this mound of cheese and try to like pull them apart and get it get them out of there. You, you jumping? <laughs> I probably shouldn't jump though. No. <laughs> I mean, you can. No, 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 no. We need to keep. We need to keep yeah. the cheese in good condition. So I will hurriedly just sling cheese to the sides around him, so I can get him out of this. Oh uh, yeah. So he's. I mean, he's you know comically buried underneath the cheese. Nothing really wrong with him. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. There's nothing really wrong with this man. Well, it, it caused like no injuries. So as I'm slinging cheese, Lojaro's gonna see him finally and be like, "What are you doing in the cheese room, Alaric?" I was, I was trying to help, but it started falling all over the place, and and then and then the one of the rotten ones got in my face, and I couldn't breathe. And and then then it I, I decided to just eat some of it so I could breathe, and then and then I was trying to yell for you all, but you just you just now heard me, so thank you, Alric. I have told you, time and time again, do not go or mess with the cheese room. Why do you have to be in the cheese room? I was trying to hold them steady. <laughs> I appreciate that, Alaric, but please stay out of the cheese room, and you just ate the one, right? Well, yeah, I only, uh, just enough to where I could move my mouth to yell. All right. It was bad. Al- I didn't... <laughs> Alaric, please come with us. We need to get you out of here. We have some bad company coming. Okay. Like, like your, like your parents are coming over? Ah, uh, worse. Their parents. Whose parents? At, at this point, nobody's parents. Listen, I don't know if you know what the slowed are. Have you ever heard of them, Alaric? A toad? Have you read? They're kind of like a toad, but more like a slug. Anyway, they're, they're not good characters, and we need to do something about this, okay? <coughs> I need you to stay under... Out of sight, under the radar, please. Not in the cheese room. Okay, so just somewhere... Somewhere on the ship, but not and, here. And they're they're slows. Yes. Have you have you? Are, do you know what they are? No. Okay. They're not people you want to mess with. Okay. Okay. Alric, are your friends nearby? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I got I got Trixie here. Okay. You might need to call your friends if something goes wrong. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll try. I'll try. Stay down here in the dining area near your room, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. It, it is okay. So, what is the placement of everybody right now on this ship? Yeah. So your your bottom deck, uh, Zerath, uh, Lajaro's in middle deck with Alaric. Orlando was still downstairs, but he was gonna follow you. Okay. To Lujaro. What? Orlando. Yes. Well, well, I'm yeah. talking like you now. Um, you said don't talk it, like that. <laughs> you said I might get to kill something, and that's always all right. beneficial. Uh, yes. Um, idea. I can cast water breathing on all of us, or just a couple of us, and we could uh, ambush them if your talks don't go that well. I don't, I don't like that idea. All right. Sounds good. So, Orlando and I could just hang out under the water, and you could. We need some kind of signal. All right. Yeah, every, everything's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. When you see my ears go back and forth, that'll be the signal. You're going to be on top of a ship, and we're going to be underwater. We can't see that. He's. <laughs> I thought you would be, like, swimming outside. Never mind. I misunderstood. If we were going to be swimming, we wouldn't need to be breathing underwater. All right. <coughs> um, I will just yell really loud. The, uh, what do you want me to do? How am I going to be able to signal you? I don't know. Can you cast any kind of spells? Do you have any I've, magical ability? I've got some spells. 
Like? I'm, I'm sure you can hear an eldritch blast or two. Well, if I see a beam of energy crackling across the sky, I'm going to know something's up. Okay. But they will, too. Is there anything... I can always just yell Alaric to tell you guys. Huh? Alaric, we might need you. Okay. Comes, comes running. You'll know when the signal hits, trust me. What? You'll hear the commotion. What's what's the, gonna happen? The point would be to stop any commotion from happening. We don't know how many are on the ship. You can try looking. <laughs> I mean, we're close <laughs> enough at this point. I imagine well, you, you, so. you guys are in the you. You guys were on the bottom. Uh, now you're now you're like mid level, and, and it's getting closer. So you could go up top and try to see. Okay, yeah, uh, let's, let's scope it out. Or you could go back to the bottom and see if you could peek out one of the holes again and see if you can get a better look. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just. I don't know. I don't know what the signal would be, so. Listen, I, I made the bones of a good plan here. Can anybody work with me, please? <laughs> uh, what, what spells do you have? Yeah, I was okay, say, let's I was take a step say, back and, like, you, what uh, spells do you have? What, what do you got going on for you? Can I chime in? Yeah, I know. Fuck yeah. Well, yeah, you're, you're, are, are you downstairs or are you coming upstairs? I'm, I'm downstairs, but I, I meant, like, as uh, a spectator of this. I mean, yeah. all I got is like yeah. Eldritch Blast, Zephyr Strike, so Searing Smite. Why not make, like, you could pull an episode four and just kind of fake a tradition and say, like, oh, it's my tradition to, uh, in my family to Eldritch Blast the air uh, for celebration. And that's the signal. If things I mean, go wrong, we're gonna celebrate. No, <laughs> if things start to go wrong, oh fuck me, never mind. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> I tried. All right, so uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay, so at this point, uh, during during your discussions, uh, you you do you do hear um, a voice, uh, kind of. Kind of calling out. Uh, there we go. Uh, you hear you hear a voice uh, calling out uh, relatively loudly. All right, goddamn it! You got this. Bring out Captain Ramesses, and your punishment shall be reduced. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Listen. Got um, much of a choice now. Just if shit goes wrong, just fire an elder's blast. Okay. I feel like we've ran out of time here. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Everyone, get ready. All right. And I'll, That's right. I'll get myself kind of fitted, and then I can walk up to the deck. The top deck. Um. Okay. And as uh, as as you come up to the to the top deck, mm -hmm. uh, you you look over uh, to to the hull. Of the ship, and you see uh, what what you know to be a, a slug, a very large slug toad creature, yeah, uh, almost like Jabba the Hutt, that okay. is uh, is is standing at the at the edge of this this deck here mm -hmm. of the ship, and there are multiple other beings around said slowed. However, uh, they are not slowed; they appear to be relatively humanoid, so mm. they could be any other slaint. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can make out um, like like a dark elf or two. Yeah. Uh, some some Khajiit Argonians, uh, just just kind of a handful, of, a mix of all, all kinds of different uh -huh. um, people. And as you as you come to the to the deck, um, this slowed puts a, a large funnel up to his up to his mouth, and asks, "Where is Captain Ramesses?" The captain has abandoned the ship. He left back in Cyrodiil. 
Uh, give me a. Uh, yeah, just give me a, just a general charisma because you're not like trying to persuade. You're actually telling the truth. But. I'd like to apologize, by the way. Slowdent would have been much better than Slaint. Um, I'm sorry. I failed. Straight roll, no ads. Uh, yeah, just just straight charisma. That's a nat twenty. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> All right. Um, well, it's I, 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 you, you weren't you weren't supposed to find this out yet, but uh, good good news for you is uh, you you can kind of tell whenever he's he said that mm-hmm. he is pissed as fuck when he's asking for Captain Rex. <laughs> Uh, so, so with him, uh, him saying, or with you saying that he's, he's abandoned the boat, uh, he responds with, um, uh, <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> this shit's ridiculous. Ah, so he is the coward we thought he was. Has he abandoned his cargo as well? When I, when I got a hold of this boat, there was these cheese wheels in a room. I... I don't understand why there is that the cargo? Cheese? Cheese wheels? That boat is supposed to be carrying bodies. I think these aren't regular cheese wheels. They seem to have properties of themselves. You're saying that these wedges of teas are bodies? Yes, it's merely magic to disguise them. Cyrodiil is on high alert right now for any Daedric uh, activity. Okay, I mean, yeah. Uh, give me, uh, g- give me another persuasion check. Straight. Uh, no, th- no this, this is actually persuasion, yeah. Sixteen. You're good. He rolled a one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he, so I kind of, kind of befuddled. He, he, he starts looking at you, going, like trying to figure you out. Yeah. Um. And after, after a, sh- a short pause, he does, uh, kind of continue his, uh, relatively official seeming duties. Um. And says, uh, Well, if your tale is true, I hope that you can prove as such. My men will be over shortly. Well, this is going way better than I imagined it would, but I assume in the background... Uh, Orlando and I are now underwater. Uh, yeah, I was about to. I was about to go to that because it was. Yeah, <laughs> we were gonna. Take, uh, uh, I, well, I didn't think it was that important. I figured we, oh, I would no, no, just no, we would have just cast like water breathing and then jumped over while he was doing that shit. So um, that's where we are, I guess. <laughs> like panicking, thinking shit's about to go real sideways, and this motherfucker's over here just like smooth talking, just charming the fuck out of people. Um, so, um, I'm going to need you to give me a quick intelligence roll. Hey, that's my, that's my thing. I hope so. I even have proficiency. Wow. I mean, like, that's a nine, but fuck me, dude. I've got like a, that's a whole other nine. That's an 18. Yeah. Um, so, uh, with, with your, with your knowledge of, My five of, head, of yeah. vessels and uh, Orlando's uh, past experience with the uh, the crew and how they've operated at some point you all do remember to put a rope down uh, from the ship <laughs> so we don't have another one of those problems uh, uh, but yeah you all you all kind of climb out down the uh, down the side of the ship and and cast water breathing and so now so now just glug glug, just swimming around. Let's I mean, I assume we're just like waiting. You know what I mean? Just like chilling there, waiting and waiting. 
Yeah. Simultaneously. I mean, I don't think we're waiting. No, you know no, what I mean? That would that be, be like. Uh, anywho, that was, I was going for the pun. I'm sorry. I know, but it just didn't work. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, uh, anywho, so yeah, so they've they've descended down to to the water. Um, uh, Zerath, uh, like shrug at him. So you you wanted to use your ray of frost to patch the holes in the ship. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, like I said, there are four smaller ones, one very large one, and now the one that um, Raelius is artillery. Uh, like the the crack, it's not a full hole like hole, but it is like they're spewing water. I'm gonna start with the giant hole. Okay, and how do you want to do this? I walk up to it and touch it with my til- my chill touch. Wait, that's not ch- chill touch. Is not. It's pretty sure it's like necromancy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have yeah, a freezing yeah. ray. I have a freezing ray. Okay. My bad. So I just, I just harness the freezing power and shoot it. Okay, so I need a, I need a repair uh, roll. Okay, I'm rolling for repair. Uh, what was fifteen? Um, what were you gonna say, Cody? I was going to ask what repair is under. Is it not? No, I think repair is my thing in my God game. Damn. You guys have just been playing God my damn. game too <laughs> damn long because I have repair construct, but... Oh, God damn it. Uh, Wait, so what did you add to that? I'm sorry, I brain fucked you a little bit there. <laughs> I mean, I assume he probably just added his spell casting modifier. Oh, no, I asked for a repair check. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. he's casting a spell. I'm just saying what I assumed he did. Oh. What he, yeah, I don't know for sure. Anywho. Um, well, I thought since I'm cast... Well, yeah, if there... Fuck, there's... A, here, let me see that real quick. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> I'm guessing a nature check. Uh, no, we'll do... Um, <laughs> ah, shit, I don't know. Yeah, I guess just fucking spell. But uh, but that was a fifteen. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, so you you hit kind of the one one side of it, and ice does kind of begin to begin to form around it. Uh, but it is it is still not completely sealed. Better than nothing. Yeah. Um. I'm, so. I'm gonna be honest. I'm really glad that my 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 skills are like a useful enough thing that you were trying to use it in this. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's make, it, it means makes a lot. Me kind of yeah. happy. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um. Uh yeah. So uh, if you wanna if you wanna try try another one, you you can. Yes, I will hit the crack now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a 13. All right, so uh, that one just kind of goes straight through the the other side. That's uh, shit. That's that's open. So so it doesn't like it, it hit it hits the crack, but it just kind of filters through it. It doesn't uh, actually like take. I guess <laughs> wouldn't it wouldn't it freeze the water outside of the crack though? Uh, if it's not if it's not cold enough, no. My freezing ray isn't cold enough to freeze <laughs> the water. Uh, no. Well, like it, like I said, it just kind of didn't. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but you didn't make the roll. <laughs> so I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, it was cold, but it wasn't like ice cold. It it wasn't enough. It wasn't to stop, cooler than it cool. wasn't enough to stop the the moving ice current. Cold. There we go. Science. <laughs> It didn't take uh it didn't take enough heat out of it. Okay. That's right. Uh yeah, so we'll we'll go back up to uh we'll, it's we'll, a little chemistry joke for everybody <laughs> there, you like that? Uh yeah, we'll go back up to uh Lajaro on the on on top of the, the deck here. Okay. And 
you see uh, him him kind of retreat from. All right, and uh, we got to take a break for a second here. Uh, <laughs> and 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 we're back. Yeah, Where were we? Uh, well, it's it's funny that you ask because. Uh, it just so happens that Alaric stopped by to feed us some circular food. <laughs> circular. <laughs> Pizza. Thank you, Alaric. Yeah. Uh, gave him a yeah. gave him a tip on uh. Venmo. Cash out. No, well, I was trying to think of an Elder Scrolls version of that, but my brain wasn't working very well, so never mind. Let's scrap that. I don't know, some kind of soul gem. Maybe. I'm not cutting that out, but scrap Coin that. magic. So, uh, so anywho, um, uh, we we were we were returning to uh, Ojaro. Septa map. There we go. Never mind. Time. Shit. Okay, go on. <laughs> uh, and he's uh, the the slow to, uh, across the way. Have uh, began pushing over a uh, boarding ramp. And it, you know, just kind of lands on top of the deck and is, is pushed, pushed forward. And uh, you hear him say, Join me on my ship. Bring the keys and show me how it's a bargain. Absolutely. One moment, please. And I'll uh, kind of head on down. Going down to the cheese room, I'm guessing. Yeah. I wouldn't go with anybody that said, come on down. <laughs> just the way he's just baldy. <laughs> All right. So I'd like to, uh, first off, I'm going to go down to the uh, where the flesh atriarchs are. Okay. And uh, I guess can I turn them into cheese, or is it only Scarf that can do that? Uh, because Scarf did it once before. Yeah, yeah. Scarf is Scarf is, has done it before. Okay. All right. Can I get Scarf to accompany me with a wheel of cheese? <laughs> um. <laughs> sure. <laughs> now I want to take one of the flesh atriox off the rowing board and have it turn into some cheese so you want to you want to have scarf bring one of the flesh atronachs up to have it turned into cheese okay and then have him turn it back into a flesh atriox in front of the slowed oh my god so don't you okay. just couldn't you just do that with a cheese wheel and skip that first step the cheese in the cheese room is not flesh atriox those are just cheese wheels all the Wait, cheese, the, huh? The the cheese in the in the cheese room is still like there's uh, still bodies in there. Oh, okay. They're, they're I thought all, yeah. cheese. No, my bad. All oh, when yeah. when Scarf said that none of them were good, I thought that oh, yeah, Alaric no, threw they're not out rowers. the. Yeah, they're not the. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's different. There's different bodies. There's different okay. Bodies. <laughs> All right. Wow. My level of panic just went down a couple notches. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Awesome. good. 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 Okay. I had this whole elaborate. Oh, like you thought. You thought there were no bodies and it was just regular. I. Cheese I thought it was just regular cheese Holy wheels. Shit. I am so sorry if no. I gave you that impression. You're good. No, don't no, worry. Hold. You didn't. I got okay. where you were going okay. with that. From okay. Like two weeks ago. So okay. I've got you. <laughs> this whole time I have had just. I. I was waiting to figure out how I was going to play this out and. And at the moment, I had this whole, like, elaborate plan of just being absolutely deceptive as hell and hoping that I got good rolls. But maybe maybe now, maybe now we can ease up a little bit. Anyway, okay. Fair enough. I, I guess I'm just going to get Scarf to come with me, and I'll grab a cheese wheel and have him turn it okay, go, you, to a flesh. Can, can, I guess go, go talk to Scarf. All right, all right. All right, so he goes... Lord Jaro goes down. He's kind of in a panic, obviously. Hair standing up, back of his neck. Scoff. Scoff. Right, boss. Scoff, can you come with me real quick? I need you to uh, turn one of the cheese wheels into a flesh atriox for me. They say it? That's it. Just come with me and show it to this uh, fellow. Right. All right. So he, ste he steps down from his, his post in front of the vessel. I just imagine, like, this nasty um, <laughs> sound. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, f uh, Scarf is the only one that does have any type of leg apertures. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to carry him with me. All right, so uh, as as we go up the stairs, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just grab. Or I guess I'm gonna have Scarf grab. Uh, no, no, never mind. I'll grab a cheeseball. Okay. My bad. I'm still uh, freaking out. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. so you, you go in the in the cheese room, and you know there's like I said, they're they're strewn about quite a bit. Uh, but do you you do grab one that is, uh, is that is not rotten that still looks like like good okay. cheese, and you you take it with you. Uh, do you ascend to the top deck? I'm guessing and go. Um, go is forward? is Alaric still down there somewhere? Like is he? Just Alaric is is hiding. Okay, good. He, good, yeah, good, he, good. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, I'll just head back on up then. Uh yeah, so um. While you were you, while you were down there, Zerath was uh, was was still um, trying to patch up. Was it? Sorry. Uh, was. Sorry, I <laughs> uh, Zerath was was trying to uh, still patch up down there. Yes, he is still trying to patch up with his freeze ray. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can uh, give me another roll if you want. Yes. Literally zoned out. Mm, that's a three. <laughs> that right. is a three. Uh, yeah. So uh, so as as you go to this, this beam doesn't fire. Like, <laughs> you, oh, you just, like your your hand messed up or something as you as you were casting it, but Fizzled? it just kind of yeah, just kind of. I don't know. I lost my ice crown. Yeah, it's just like a puff of snowflakes. <laughs> Merry uh, Christmas! <laughs> Did it make the Atriox happy? Uh, uh, it fell on top of one of his, one of his head, but it, you can't really. You can attempt to discern some emotion from one of the flesh astronauts <laughs> if you'd like to. No, <laughs> but you can attempt to try to figure out how they're feeling about this. They're like big flesh meatballs with arms, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that made you happy and move on with my life. And it just kind of wiggles the ore in front of it a little bit. Aw. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. <laughs> Can I try really again? Cute in a fucked up way. Uh, <laughs> Can I try again? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, what do what are you what are you trying to do? Oh, I'm trying oh, to yeah to, to try repair to patch again. Up the yeah. holes. I'm gonna say, don't you have two rays at this level anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's, it's supposed to be one, but not yeah, twenty. That's fun. I said right there. Uh, yeah. So which one were you uh, were you aiming at? I'm I'm going for the crack again. I wanna I wanna I wanna patch up the crack. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah. So kind of kind of learning from your mistakes last time. Um, it's like yeah, I I can't be going right for the crack. I have to go around it and kind of build it. As it, as it slowly fills in, that way it's not, you know, trying to push up against the, the moving outside water. Uh, and, and you're you're successful with that. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so fucking immature. Yeah, and, and so, <laughs> so at this point, we also haven't, we haven't checked on uh, Orlando and Raelius either. Uh, so they're just kind of swimming. And they've seen these, these boarding ramps. Uh, cross over to to their ship. I presume I can speak if I'm breathing, right? Um, yeah, well, I would say I would say. That is that okay to do just flavor wise? Like, I feel like we're not like living what, by real what, world uh, logic right the now. The way the way your bubble works is, uh, it, or it puts like a bubble on on your head, so you've got like a bubble. Over. Like <laughs> reverse the, SpongeBob situation yeah. with Sandy. Exactly. So yeah. that's that's what that's what you all are rocking right now. Wait, no, that would be literal, literal same as Sandy. Excuse yeah. me, I'm so sorry. So you, you can you can speak speak to each other and kind of kind of hear each other. Orlando. What? <laughs> I, do, do you think it's going okay up there? Well, I haven't seen any kind of sign except for. Wait a second. I, I, th I think I saw across. yeah a ramp right yeah. Uh, they could be bad. Did he say he was going to shoot something if things were going wrong? 
I assumed he'd do that. Or was that if things were going right? Okay, what do you want to do? Well, I think we should go check on them. If someone's boarding someone and he hasn't signaled in any kind of way, we might be fucked. Is there any possible check I could make to unfuck myself because I'm about to do something really stupid? As a player, I know it's stupid. As a character, no, no, I no, don't. It's, it's okay. Um, no, no, it's yeah. fine. I'm, well, no, yeah, I'm you, fine to go along with it. You, I just you can you can make a roll, and I would also like to say that if you're feeling like you want to do something crazy, I'd like to remind you that I pulled a frag grenade in a car in one of your campaigns. <laughs> so go go for it. I I just I'm trying to. <sighs> Because this looks bad from our vantage point. Right, it does. Um, what should I? I know. I'm sorry. I mean, I can give you what like would a. I, what would I? What would I can I give roll? you a perception check, and you like you can try to look up there and see if there's any kind of commotion or if everything's kind of still. Um, you can. I don't know of any other thing you could do, honestly. That's an 11 on a perception check. I have a negative one on perception. I uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Um, um, that, you don't have to give it to it me. I'm be, just... No, no, no. I, mean, I don't think it would be that hard if you were, you were slightly underwater and could look up and see a boarding ramp, but also see that, like, no one is crossing it uh, immediately. Or that, like they're not rushing oh, yeah, across. There's no, there's no yelling. There, yeah, there's no, there's no auditory things. There's no arrows flying. Nothing. They have catapults, remember? So. Oh, fleshy ones. That. Yeah, flesh catapults. Um, <laughs> All right. Flesh catapults Orlando, and I, whales. I think maybe we should wait a moment. They aren't like rushing across or firing arrows or catapults. Well, maybe we should go over to their ship get underneath oh uh, yeah yeah I agree with that completely <laughs> and, they, and they swim away yeah yeah we're, just, we're <laughs> swimming we're swimming to them um yeah so we're back to back to Lajaro follow his lead uh so Lajaro you and you and Scarf are, have, have arrived back onto the top deck alright uh are you are you going immediately across or, or do you want to do anything else before you, you cross over to the, the ship? Uh, I want to... Uh, I'm just going to kind of casually, like, stretch real quick. Just kind of go over to the side of the ship, like where I had assumed they'd be floating. Okay. And just kind of just kind of stretch and just act like everything's cool. Like try to give like a thumbs up or something. Yeah, <laughs> just some sort of signal, just to make sure that because uh, it, it okay. has occurred to Lojaro. Um, they're still yeah, under so, the water. So, um, you you do not see the load on the, the the top of of his ship. He has he has gone into the into the his little quarters. Yeah, uh, on the ship. Uh, the, what you do see on the ship is, is like I said, a, a, just a myriad of different, different humanoid peoples, yeah. races. Okay, yeah. Uh, all wearing uh, relatively like tattered clothing. Okay. Um, so most of them are are equipped in some way with uh, with weapons, but they're they're lacking in armor. Right. Uh, can I make a perception check on them real quick? Okay, what are you? What are you trying? I'm, I'm gonna see if they're more or less like prisoners, or, or if they're actually like maybe just. Well, you can you can see that that would uh, you can give me an insight check. Okay, on that. yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, y yeah, you can you can tell by some of their faces uh -huh. uh, that they are uh, some of them are distraught like they look they look pretty fucking tired uh, they, they don't look they don't they don't look like they are eager to kill you let's put it that way too right okay um, 
However, they are they are kind of standing their ground, like they're not they're they're not presenting that they're scared of you. Okay. All right. All right. All right, so Lojaro just kind of, you know, as he goes away from the side of the ship, just kind of stretches. I'm like, ah, sorry, you, you all cat caught me when I was uh, napping. Um, anyway, slowed wanted proof. I assume you all want to see it real fast. Yes. They kind of, they kind of look at each other, and one of them just goes, oh, "He wanted to." And the other one goes. Yeah, yeah, it was him. It was him. And they they start they start just pointing towards towards his quarters, like all in chorus in unison. Uh, just going, no, it was him. It was him. He wants to see you. No, all of, all of, all of them just some some variation of no, it him. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess I'll take the cheese. And Scarf with me to go see the slowed. Yeah, Scarf, Scarf's falling right behind you with that oh, cheese okay. on his arms. How many arms? I don't know how many Scarf has. Scarf. <laughs> <laughs> he could have grown more. He could have lost one. Who knows? He's got it, though. He's got the cheese. Uh, yeah, so we'll just, I guess, go onto the slowed ship. Uh, yeah, so, so as, as you cross over this, uh, it's, you know, relatively broad board. Uh -huh. Um. All, all these, all these people are, are just, you know, staring at you. And, uh, as, and as you you cross over with with scarf, uh, scarf being an emotionless, <laughs> uh, and magical entity, uh -huh. uh, is is unfazed by the way they're looking at him and keeps up his his relatively steady pace. Yeah. Um, and as as you cross over on onto the uh, onto the the ship itself. Uh huh. The ones who were standing kind of immediately on the deck there, on either side of the the boarding ramp, begin to kind of like slowly close in after you. Uh, just like not like I said, not threatening, but just like funneling you, like hurting you. So like I said, Scarf doesn't notice this, but yeah, oh, that's that's what I can give you for the the okay. inside. Okay. Um. I just want to look out at everybody. Um, Captain! I'll just kind of yell out across the deck. Yes. Join me downstairs. I don't like this. Okay. I'm going in. Don't worry. We got your back. I'm going in. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'll just kind of... Keep an eye on everybody. Can I, can I, can I see some of their faces? The uh, the people on the ship. What What do you mean? Like I want to see if I recognize any of them. Yeah, you can make a perception check. Okay. Can I uh, really quick as he's doing this? Mm -hmm. Is uh, Zareth still? Has he patched that up yet? Uh no, there's still quite. There's I mean there's okay. three there's of the. Normal. I was gonna say, well, yeah. as you're doing this, can he? I mean, yeah. He try can. to. Sorry. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get you back into the game. Fifteen. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that that one does. That one does work. Okay. Um, and I will say, with the, with the repair of the the crack you had last turn, like, there's no there's no serious water coming through anymore. Uh, I should I should have mentioned that. So my bad. And that other one's eighteen, I believe. That's all the crack, uh, all the holes that are, that needed to be filled. Yeah. Uh, so are you gonna are you gonna stay down there? What else? Uh, what else? No, I'm 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 going to go. I hear. Um, I hear his voice, and I go up to meet him, where uh, the. Flesh Atronach is gonna turn the cheese into a, a body. So you're, you're so gonna, you like hear him yelling up there, like, yeah, Captain. So I'm gonna go meet him to make sure that he's okay. Okay, so so yeah, as you as you come up to the uh, to the top deck, you see the the boarding ramp has been stretched across onto onto your all's ship, uh, and you you look over as uh, I would assume you you would. 
possibly consider crossing it, uh, you see these these people who have uh, they are facing Lajaro, who is walking with Scarf ahead of them, uh, and they they are facing him. They have their their back turned to you. I'm gonna catch up with Scarf and Lajaro. Okay, well, yeah, as you, as you as you cross over the uh, the bridge there, like I said, there's there's still these these people who are just kind of standing in your way. Like they're blocking me. Yeah, like they've they've kind of as as Lajaro and Scarf crossed with the cheese wedge, they kind of closed in after him and kind of sealed off, and were just following Lajaro and Scarf as he as. He is. Uh, I'm gonna chill touch some of them. You're gonna chill touch them? Yeah. Okay. Um. Can, can, Hell can I, yeah! yeah. Can, can I see him? Like, can I like notice him coming up? Uh. Yeah. Do I need to do a perception? I mean, I'm. I don't know. We're 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 down there and ready to. Absolutely ruin all your best laid plans. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if the, if that's how how it's gonna be. Uh, yeah. To be can, fair, in me, his perception, they are yeah. encircling you. Yeah. Like, I ju- okay. Enough. Instead yeah. of chill touch, I'm I'm gonna yell, uh, Lajaro, is everything all right? Oh yeah, yes, yes. We uh, we're we're handling negotiations right now. Where do you want me to go? Just uh. Stay on the ship, all right? Keep an eye on things. All right. All right, I'll continue on the scar. Uh, well, yeah, so now Orlando and uh, <laughs> Aurelius are underneath the ship. <laughs> Man, if I had a chance, I would just drag him down there with us, but I don't, I, I feel like that wouldn't. Oh, wait, drag who? Him. I don't know, just to give him something to do, but I mean, like you, you can flag him down if you want to. You can try to. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but the spell don't work like that. You can oh, try no. to join me if you want. I could meet. I could uh, join them and tell them that negotiations are going and not to do anything. I mean, yeah, you. Just gonna jump overboard and start paddling <laughs> towards the boat. <laughs> I mean, it's, you can. I won't it's stop your, you. It's your character. Don't yeah, you get. To, I'll you get jump to over it. and let them know the plan. So you're just jumping off the side of the ship into the water. Yeah. Fuck okay. it. Uh. So. <laughs> yeah, I want to see how this one plays I, I out. Gonna, I was gonna say. Um. Are Are you gonna trying to do this in any specific way? You know, like go to the other side of the boat and then jump. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run to the other side of the boat. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not right. joking. Like right yeah, in I'm front like, of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just right off the like pirate style, right off the plank. Um. Okay. So yeah, yeah, you can go, go across and uh, that that way. Just give me just give me an athletics check. Okay. Fifteen. Very athletic. Uh, <laughs> Uh yeah you uh your 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 time in the army taught you how to swim so you you got uh, some some chops when it comes to swimming I guess uh and yeah you you land divingly <laughs> divingly he's got some fillets you know yeah. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah like some jackknife shit going in into the into the water um do you immediately swim over do you do I see them when well you're, I land? you're you're on the other side of the boat. So they're they're underneath the other boat. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start fucking paddling. Okay. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll come back to that in a second. Uh. And uh, wait, didn't you wanna? Did you flag him down? Or? No, no. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if he's like swimming over towards us and I can see him. I would probably like Rayleigh's would probably be like well, yeah them being like under, if, like, underwater a, this just like exasperated him. like motion towards him like what 
<laughs> like like arms, hands like, <laughs> flying in the air or in, in the water a little bit. Like, huh? Uh, that's what you're getting from from Raelius. I don't know what you want to do with that, uh, but me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm giving you that like, like that like, like we're under the water watching you paddle over at us, and we're just like. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep swimming over to them and <laughs> just uh, ignoring. And just, well, no, I'm I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna signal that something signal. something's happening. Uh, Raelius rolls their eyes, but then pops up out of the water and is like, <gasps> "Why are you here? Listen, we're not doing the plan from under the boat. Do not do anything." Lajaro is it going is, well. Yes, Lajaro's do. Oh. Lajaro's making strides. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Do not do anything. We can get out of this scot free. All right, fine. We'll go back. <laughs> and if anything happens, we charge the boat. Well, if you still think something's gonna happen, we should stay down here just in case. Let's go up. Let's trust that Lajaro's conversation is going to go well. What do you think, really? Is... Ah. I still don't know if I can trust this one. I mean, I don't think that he would be, like, lying to us right now, but I also don't know if I trust his judgment. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he's lying to us. I think he's naive. Then again, I don't know if I... I don't think I can cast water, water breathing again, so... I, I feel like this entire thing is bungled now that we're up here. Um, so, you know... Back to square one is what you're saying? Yeah, I guess so. All right. That's we are going to trust you on this one. Oh, thank God. Uh, it's not like I heard you The two. nine divines, yes. I mean, it's just a saying. I only have my one, uh, uh, un undivine. I don't, I don't know what you would, I mean, Daedra, but I don't know another word for that. <laughs> oh, the <clears throat> Imperial culture makes me laugh. Let's leave it at that and get back on the ship. That's fine. I have nothing else to add to that at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. All right, uh, and so yeah, we'll we'll return to we'll draw our, a doggy who's, paddle back over to the boat. Who's who has uh, walked into, uh, or how ha are you going into his like little room in there? Swerve to meet him, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, like I said, the uh, the crew on the ship ha are are following you. Not uh, notably, none of them have drawn weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, like, um, hostile. Yeah, they ha they are armed, but they have not drawn their weapons. Um, and, they and they're simply following you as you as you make your way into it. Mm. Um, uh, I did, did I, I rolled a 13, by the way, on that perception where I wanted to see if I noticed, if I knew or recognized oh, anything. Um, a 13, uh, no. The faces are kind of blending together. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, so you you make your way towards his uh, his quarters there, which are uh, are, are doored with uh, with two curtains split down the middle. Um, they are slightly slimy. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, and as you as you enter through, uh, there is uh, the the rest of the ship is is wooden. It uh -huh. is a wood ship. However, the the inside of of his quarters here, um, as soon as you step through the curtain, yeah, uh, the the floor changes uh, from uh, wood to uh, to stone. Huh. Uh, it's it's a a reddish purple stone. Yeah, so it's slightly porous. Okay. Uh, and it and it and it covers. Uh, 
all all the walls of this like it's like it's been carved out and placed onto this onto this ship. Okay. Uh, which which his his little quarters there is right in the middle of the ship. Right. So uh, he 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 is actually uh, seated behind a, a strange desk that is that arrives ar- 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 erupts out of the ground. Okay. Uh, of the that's made of the same material. Same stone, yeah. And and he he motions towards uh towards another uh, a seat in front of the desk mm-hmm. uh, that is uh, indeed made of the same uh, same material. Okay. Um. So it looks like it's just been carved out of this this material. Can uh, can I see if I recognize the material? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a uh, nature check. Nature. Eighteen. Uh, yeah, actually, um, you recognize this uh, as as many people uh, like to put it as uh, make it in jewelry, which you've traded in. Uh, this is coral. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, this his entire little quarters here, uh, which which does consist of the the desk, the chair, and then um, some shelves carved into. The, the walls with with books and such yeah uh, as as well as a small what appears to be like a sleeping pad right not really a bed but just a place that that is covered with it with an extra amount of mucus <laughs> oh god okay uh yeah so you can tell it spends it spends more time there okay uh yeah so so as you you enter in into his makeshift coral office on this ship and he just goes have a cheek Okay, so I'll sit down. Well, let's cut to the chase. Show me how it works. All right, Scoff. Present the cheese. Right, boss. <laughs> oh, yeah, and so... <laughs> Can you turn it into the cheese, please, Scoff? Or turn it into the flesh, I Just told me to present it. Sorry, boss. <laughs> So as as he he uh, he's presenting the cheese in two hands, he he flips it over, begins holding it in, in his palm, and rips off his scarf, and puts it over top of the cheese, and then he just drops the cheese onto the ground. And and this this slowed is is looking on in, in amazement, kind of just like this is this is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> And and sure sure enough, his uh, his uh, doubt is is proven wrong, as as the the cheese begins growing into uh, into an actually just a human body. Um. So, as, as he he looks upon this and he goes, Excellent. So, this the scarf is all you need. Uh, scoff, I do believe that's all you need, correct? Right, boss. Yes, it's just the scoff. Excellent. We'll have no use for you then. And as he says this, uh, three of the the prisoners uh, oh, come in behind you. And scarf. I, uh... I kind of get up quickly and look at the slowed. I don't think you want to do this. I I will give you the cheese and we can go our separate ways. Exactly how much is on there? Like I said, we have a whole cheese room. You stay here. Go count it, he says to uh, the guards. Uh, and and one one of them leaves, so there's there's still the two of them uh, in there, and they they are standing standing guard uh, guard at at the door there, for okay. and he he just kind of sits back on his on his tail, and just begins kind of putting his grubby little fingers together, and goes, if it's worth it to let you go, we will. 
But there's a bounty out on this ship. And we're looking to claim it. Captain Ramesses was a big part of that bounty. If he's gone, then the reward for him is gone. But the reward for the bodies remains. If we can add one more, we will. God damn it. Unless it's worth our time. I guess we shall see then. Won't we? Alright, so so now we cut back <laughs> to zero. Alright, yeah. Sweet. Um and Sorry. And so here's the thing. Orlando, Zerath, and Aurelius. There's no way they could have seen that happen. So as far as they know, negotiations are fine right now. Everything is peachy. <laughs> and that's where we'll leave it for now. Dun dun dun. Fuck. Well, damn. Okay, shit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, there's. I thought, there's, I thought shit was about to happen. Well, <laughs> it, is, it is, and that's that's kind of what I, what I want to say. But this uh, there's a there's a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, we we got some things about to go down, so I, I want uh, I want y'all to be able to prepare for that. All right. Yeah, it's uh, it's slow. It ain't nothing to fuck with. All right, DM. And, and we'll, we'll we'll figure this uh, figure out how you all how you all can possibly try to get with Jaro and, <laughs> and Scarf if you want to save Scarf. Oh, oh we're action. saving Scarf. <laughs> we're saving we're uh, saving Scarf if we can. But yeah, yeah, we'll see see how they uh they plot this little little rescue mission here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just shit's. <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah. So yeah. All right, Anywho, sign yeah. us off. Yeah. So, so that that'll be it for us uh, for us tonight. I hope you guys uh, in, enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, we'll see what kind of adventures we can get into next time. That's right. Give us your love. I know you want to. Cyber I'm talking love. to you specifically, Jeff, Nick. <laughs> oh my God, Bill. Uh, Goodbye, everyone. Jeff syllable Free. <laughs> this has been this has been Apocryphal Earl's. World TV. Apocryphal World Ashes of Oblivion. Come back me. on the next one. I love you. Bye. Later. I licked my microphone. Goodbye. Absolutely.